everyone, the Dark Knight is here. Detective Sergeant Mare Sheehan is a well-known heroic figure in her neighborhood of Easttown, a small town in Chester County of Pennsylvania. But she has faced a trembling year in quest of a missing girl that has raised many eyebrows over her detective skills. And during all this, the cops find a dead body in the forest park one day. She is Erin McMiniman, uh, a teenage mother who was fighting a custody battle for her kid with her ex-boyfriend. Looking at this magnificent miniseries and the continuity of the plot, I am surprised that Mayor of Easttown is neither adapted from any novel nor this is based on a true incident. In fact, I'm impressed with such a quality of production. They came up with such a presentation that makes the audience believe that uh, maybe this is all true, whatever is shown in Mayor of Easttown. But you know, to some extent, Mayor of Easttown is a story of everyday people. If you notice in this mini series, some small detailings give you a real feel like a cop being very sensitive to blood an old man confessing about having an affair at his wife's funeral a priest alleged uh, for raping a minor a mentally disabled girl bullied in the school the old couple trying to figure out how to set up a security camera and many more elements are quite uh, observing in this Mayor of Easttown. The character of Erin in the first episode has to be the most fitting epitome of, of bad social treatment. I have watched so many uh, television shows and I have observed so many memorable characters uh, that went on to hold successful character development and that takes more than one episode sometimes more than a season but character of Erin this has to be the fastest growth developing character in any television drama in recent years Erin was alive for only one episode that first episode and then she was murdered it was mind-blowing and phenomenal writing about the character of Erin uh, she is a teenage mother and uh, she faced rigidity. She got no backing from her father and her ex-boyfriend. In fact, the ex-boyfriend was so naive, all he wanted was his baby to be in uh, his custody. And when she was beaten in the park, he was just watching and enjoying it. It was so painful. And the audience, when watching this first episode, and uh, the way Erin's character went from start to the end, uh, people will feel extremely sad about her. It was extremely dark character. She was murdered with, uh, no, with no hope in life. She was just killed like that. And that builds the tone of Mayor of Easttown. I have watched a lot of detective uh, TV shows and films where the central character in the uniform is always in trouble with his her line of work and uh, surrounded with dark elements about his her personal life okay so there is nothing special about Mayor Sheehan she is no extraordinary character they the makers present same elements in Mayor Sheehan just like any other that we have uh, watched uh, a central detective character before but the reason why Mayor's typical character is picked and praised highly over others uh, in these recent times uh, is because of touching the deepest aspects of her dark elements of her life very rightly, addressing her uh, miseries peculiarly and giving enough screen length to suffocate between her roles as uh, a mother of a son who committed suicide, ex-wife in a troubled marriage, irresolute to her line of work, and doubtful heroism that 
has faded since uh, no trace uh, of a missing child in an unsolved crime case. And the most impressive factor of this show, Kate Winslet. How, how much do you have to influence a character to your body? How much do you have to influence a character to your body? That the audience traces no sign of actor's stunning performance. But, but they will only feel the pains of Mir Sheehan. I, I'm lost. How Meryl Streep a performance can be. This has to be Kate Winslet's best performance since The Reader. There was everything in this role. Body language, facial translation of uh, emotional distress, Delco accent of the Phillies, uh, one of the most toughest American dialects, rage, frustration and God knows what else. It was a phenomenal performance, almost perfect, perfect performance. Mir Sheehan's character is very dark. And despite this fact, there is one scene in the entire series when she laughed. And that was an unforgettable scene. And if the audience, like me, observe that Gufo was very, very necessary after all the troubles she had. Mir Sheehan has a daughter, Sirban, and from the initial scenes, it was pretty clear, we came to know, that she is a lesbian, okay. But showing sequences about her being in relation with a radio jockey that has no connection with either a plot or subplot, it was total waste of time. Th that was fetching uh, nothing had nothing to do with the story. The second time consuming uh, error is Richard Rayan, the writer and the professor, Mir Sheehan's love interest, played by Guy Pearce. Now, when this character is introduced in the show, he's just Mir's love interest. So I have this feeling, maybe later on, Richard Rayan's character has something to do with Erin's murder. Maybe he was involved. But uh, to my disappointment, he was just Mir Sheehan's love interest, nothing else. So it's total waste of time. It makes no sense that Richard Rayan gets so many minutes in this show. He's there in almost every episode. Why? And then Detective Colin, played by Evan Peters. He plays uh, the role of an assistant to Detective Mir Sheehan. Uh, in solving this murder mystery. Now, Colin's character, he is awkward and loses confidence a lot when he is trying to speak to Mayor Sheehan. And this character is very stereotypical. I don't understand why in almost every show, the assistant or vice to a detective or a cop is shown a little awkward, less confident, dumb, or giving some humor touch. Why is that so? And then later on, Detective uh, Colin falls in love with uh, Mayor Sheehan. What, what rubbish. But the makers deserve special praise for applying comedy in such a dark, in such a dark uh, mini series that never looked forced. It really looked natural. It looked really funny when uh, when uh, Mayor Sheehan catches uh, Freddy and she's asking for the help from uh, the cop and he is sensitive to blood. And there are many scenes, like I, I mentioned before about the old man when he confesses about having an affair at his wife's funeral. It was funny. So there is some real feel in the, the comedy and that looks really good. Mayor Sheehan's mother, uh, Helen, she is the source of excitement. It is always exciting to watch the chemistry of mother-daughter, Helen Sheehan and Mayor Sheehan. 
Mayor of East Town is another masterpiece that propels me to advise the television audience to prefer HBO over any other network if uh, they are willing to watch a limited series or a mini series. And HBO has been a dominant force when it comes to quality writing in a limited series or a mini series. Uh, in recent years, HBO has produced Watchmen, Chernobyl, The Night Of, and even if you go a couple of decades uh, back, you will see some really unforgettable miniseries like uh, B Band of Brothers and Angels in America. The winner of four Emmy Awards, Mayor of East Town deserves every respect, every credit for being uh, one of the best suspense and detective thrillers in recent years. I'm Sami Naik. Thank you.